I played sports growing up and then about ninth grade I did hockey and golf. At the time I was five foot, 120 pounds. Hockey wasn't looking too promising. As a native Oklahoman, Robert Streb was able to channel those long winter hours perfecting his slap shot into a golf swing good enough for Kansas State University. His early success as a Wildcat proved the switch from hockey to golf was the right decision. I qualified for nationals as an individual as a freshman, which was a pretty big deal for me. My senior year was pretty good. I got an All-American honorable mention. Unfortunately, I never won an event in college, which was a little disappointing. Streb did, however, grind out 12 top five finishes, but maybe his biggest accomplishment at Kansas State was meeting his future wife. My roommate was actually dating her roommate and hung out for a little while and started dating and that was that. After graduating in 2009, Streb tested his game and decided to give the mini tours a try. A tough grind for anyone trying to make a living traveling from event to event on their own dime. But it was easier because Maggie was by his side every step of the way. You want to just play golf, just want to not think about whether you you're making money, not making money, that kind of thing, but you're probably not gonna make a great living off of it. You're just trying to keep your head above water. Maggie's helped me out with my attitude a little bit. I'm pretty hard on myself. She doesn't really go to negative town very often. <laughs> it's important for us to have our life. When golf doesn't go well and when golf goes great, it doesn't matter. Like, we've got each other and we have fun together. We're best friends, so having that support helps him take his mind off golf. You're not sitting in the hotel beating your head against the wall, basically. You can go see a movie, you can go to dinner, just do other things with her to get your mind off of it. Come back the next day and start over. Streb's first professional win came at his first pro event at his home course in the Oklahoma Open. But his long journey through the mini circuits continued through 2012 before qualifying for the Web.com Tour. Columbia was the first start I got. I'd never been out of the country. Left Monday night, rolled in there at 10 at night, stumbling around trying to find a hotel. Didn't make the cut there and then got into Chile a couple weeks later and played really well. Streb used that momentum and racked up four top 10 finishes leading into the Milan Classic, where he won convincingly by four shots. Welcome to the winner's circle on the web.com tour. And that's a tournament record. It's nice to win somewhere other than my home course. You know if you win there, you've got everything locked up. And that part, it was pretty cool to actually get it done. As Streb's first PGA Tour season rolled around in 2013, Maggie continued to travel along with him. And having that extra support was crucial heading into the Wyndham Championship. Looking to make his first playoff appearance, Streb sat outside the 125 bubble. And it came down to one final putt. We started at 133, and with that par, 126, and he knows what that was worth. Missing it by one putt was a little bit hard, but it makes us stronger, and it's a learning experience each time. Staring adversity in the face, Streb not only made the playoffs in 2014, he finished 71st in the FedEx Cup standings after a tie for 10th at the Deutsche Bank Championship, redeeming himself of the agony he felt just one year prior. I'm so beyond proud of him for everything he's accomplished. He's taken all the downs and he's just learned from it and built on it. For Robert Streb, his entire career had been building to the 2014 McGladry Classic when he finally put all the pieces together. What a golf shot, what a response from Robert Streb trying to get his very first PGA Tour win been his goal for forever to have a PGA Tour win, so just glad I could be along to support him, be a team. You're obviously not going to achieve all your goals, you know, right from the get-go. Well, at least I didn't. I was always just trying to, trying to get better. I was never the, the best all the time, so I was just trying to keep getting better, and it's panned out pretty well.